Like, but of course, you know yeah, yeah. But it, it, it eventually, it, it gives you more credit. Yeah, it, it should, I mean, should, I mean, you know how Pelosi's a rock star. Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like, God, absolutely. You know, You're right. right. Yeah. I mean, what do you think about that? A president of the United States may have violated the Espionage Act. Let that sink in for a while. Um, yeah, again, this guy doesn't have any respect for the rule of law. He doesn't have any respect for the Constitution. Um, I mean, he is somebody who, you know, lusts to be an authoritarian slash fascist type of ruler. Well, you know what? You know, we have elections in this country, and we'll see what happens in the midterm elections. What we don't know yet is, you know, when I guess when the question of the Espionage Act comes up, was it just there for storage or was there something more, something more serious here? Until we know the facts, um, it's going to be hard to know that. But this is really a moment. And I've been saying this for the last 48 hours. This is really a moment for people not to rush to judgment. There's already a dead 42 year old because of the uh, inflammatory rhetoric that too many Trump supporters have been using, including my Republican colleagues. This is a moment for people to wait. For the facts to come out because when we're talking about classified information we're talking about information that if it falls into the wrong hands could lead to the deaths of our troops our intelligence officers this is deadly serious stuff and this is a moment for people to just pipe down and wait for the facts to come out but what they've been doing to president trump is political persecution merrick garland has abused his position of power um, as the Attorney General to politically persecute Joe Biden's enemies. And the whole purpose of this is to prevent President Trump from ever being able to hold office. So I'm on my way in the Capitol right now and I'm introducing articles of impeachment on Merrick Garland because we cannot tolerate this in America where our great institutions are welded in, and abused uh, in such a way to defeat people's political enemies. That's not what this is for. And, and it should never exist. The Democrats are saying that. <laughs> so, oh, you don't know? We'll try to distinguish between classified and classified. There is no distinction. It is either classified or it is not. And you handle classified information in a very specific way because it is uh, a danger to our national security and it puts people who are on the ground doing very important work collecting information for this country at risk. Kind of unnecessary. If, if, if you think that the tax, the tax code is so complicated and difficult to enforce, then maybe simplify the tax code. That would be the proper solution to that instead of just trying to catch middle America in their mistakes, which you obviously will make if you do your own taxes. It's pretty difficult. So, Congressman, your reaction? This is what we already knew. Uh, like I said, I think I don't really have anything new to say on this than what I've been saying. It's I, I think people are rightfully upset at the precedent this sets. It seems highly unnecessary to be sending an armed FBI agents into Mar-a-Lago when you could have just subpoenaed these documents. He supposedly knew they were there. He was being cooperative already with, with other with other documents. I'm not changing it because if something happens, we have to do anything else. I have to, uh...